Hey there, welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of water on here. I'm gonna put water down to about the top two thirds of the page, okay? And I'm gonna make it pretty wet. So, you know, if you get your head down on an angle and you actually look at how much water you have on there, about two thirds, three quarters of the page, you know, whatever it is that you want it to be. I'm gonna put some I'm going to make this into sort of a misty winter kind of a painting. So I'm going to put a lot, a lot of Payne's Gray across the top there. And we're just letting that, of course, go to wherever it is that it wants to go to. Those of you that have been here before, you know, that's sort of my general theme is you know, I'm trying to put the paint on the page in a, you know, in, in a way that allows the paint to go wherever it is that the paint wants to go to. And, you know, I'm kind of the director of it and I don't try to force it too much. I'm just gonna suck some of that out of there because it's kind of wicking up along the side here. You can take a tissue. I'm just taking a brush that I've dried off and running it along there. Again, I'm trying to be the director here. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more Payne's Gray and I'm gonna introduce it across the bottom here. You can see I kind of kept this bottom sort of very, very sketchy across here. And I'm trying to make this winter, so I'm gonna keep a lot of this just, you know, just very um, gray like that. Allow that to sort of become my tree line, you know, sort of the sketchiness of it. And then I'm gonna take some Payne's Gray here and just sort of introduce it across there like that. And very, you know, not, not a direct line. Again, dry it off, dry your brush off, wick some of this out of here. This is just gonna be sort of like a line where, you know, snow has accumulated. And we're just gonna let that dry now. Don't try to, uh, you know, don't be going in here and, you know, trying to fix it. Um, just let it dry to whatever it is it's gonna become. And then we'll start again. Okay, so that all dried up. I took my hair dryer to that. This next part, you're gonna need something like, this is just a toothpick, but you could use anything. You could use the back of your brush, you know, the back. Part of your brush for this it doesn't make any difference um, you need something pointy and not too sharp okay so I'm gonna pick up some more Payne's Gray and I'm just gonna put in a tree so I'm gonna put in a tree here and I'm gonna make it go up almost to the top of the page and I'm gonna pick up some more Payne's Gray and I'm gonna put it into this line okay so you can see it's getting Quite full of paint and I need it to be full of paint okay and just set your brush down grab your toothpick and you're just gonna pull out of the wet okay I'm gonna go in different directions you're gonna make branches wherever you want there to be a branch just pull out of the wetness. The further you pull, the longer the line's probably gonna be. And I say probably because there's no guarantee. Remember, this is art, so anything can happen. I'm gonna pick up some more paint. I'm gonna put a little bit more paint in there. And I'm gonna take my toothpick again, and I'm gonna pull out of the line. I'm going to pull out of the wet line. I think you should probably think of everything as practice. You know, that's how, you know, to avoid disappointment, just think of everything that you're doing is you're just trying to enjoy yourself in the act of painting. And you're not trying to, you know, I, I think the people who are 
trying to create a masterpiece every time they come out. I think those people become severely disenfranchised with the whole act of painting. So I'm going to let this tree dry. I'm going to put another one in over here on the far side. I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. And I'm going to put some more. Just think of it, you have to put a lot of paint into this because you're dragging the paint out with the toothpick. So that one's working a little bit better for me. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. That one turned out pretty nice. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do another one here. I'm gonna go a little bit lower. We're gonna make this one a little bit shorter too. Load it up with paint. Okay, set your brush down. Warning, this technique becomes very sort of addictive, I'll tell you. It becomes just something that's, once you figure it out and you start using it, it's just so much fun to do. I'm going to make another one that's a little bit shorter. Put some more paint into it. Same deal. Some more paint in. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, uh, I think to finish this, I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, this is some sienna. I'm just going to put a little bit of sienna here and take my toothpick again. Just put some bulrushes in here. Or some, you know, grass in the winter time. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing just over here. Put a couple of dots of, this is sienna, but whatever color it is that you wanna use. You know, you could use red. You could also go right now and just pick up, you know, just pick up a little bit of red and just drop it in the bottom of that. Just like that. Adds a splash of color into your painting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then I'm going to do one more just right over here at the side. And then I'm going to call that done. If you're currently a subscriber, I really do appreciate it. If you're not currently a subscriber, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to hear from you. If you got a question or a comment, as always, leave it in the comment section. I hope your painting turns out. And if not, don't fret about it too much. Try again. Have some fun with it. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you again next time.